head scratching Friday trying to find speed. Northern expatriate drivers periodically dropped by to offer what advice they could. It was gladly accepted. Brett Bodine and um, Greg Sachs and a few of the drivers have come over and, and they've tried giving us uh, helping hands as far as what they've seen with the car on the track as far as my uh, line that I'm taking and um, you know I, I really appreciate that I mean nobody comes into the Winston Cup division and lights the world on fire and we're not we're not expected to do it and we're not gonna do it and it's nice you know guys like that come over and try to give you a helping hand. Fuller had some Winston Cup style experience having raced a full-bodied stalker in Australia as winner of the NAS track driver's search. But the modified hot shoe is still far from experienced on how to make a 3,500 pound car handle when he's used to 2,500 pounds. Uh, with a modified, you drive the car in just as deep as you possibly can, and then you go a car length further. And then you grab a ton of brake, and in the middle of the corner, you just slap the gas right back to the floor, take no mercy on the equipment. With these cars here, it's like you gotta roll out of it a lot earlier, don't grab too much brake and upset the car, and then get back into the throttle real easy. Um, hopefully, if we complete all 400 laps, I'll have it down pat by the end of the race. And Fuller met his objective, finishing 29th, making it to the end of the race. All right. Third was a battle between defending Supercross champion. Last year's rookie IndyCar driver of the year. And number three.